Hello and welcome to another episode of the FreeTag team. We are the guys that are providing to you FreeTag server and also other cool software that you can use for free because we want to democratize our situational awareness. So today we are going to present our last updates. So we have updated the federation code and now it's much more robust and we have fixed several bugs. We have also updated SSL and we have generated a new type of um, certifications that will work with all the different devices including ITAC, uh, WinTAC and ATAC and we have now support for ITAC that is the client for iOS. Now, today we're going to demonstrate all of that. Let's start. So let's start with uh, Federation. What is Federation? Federation is the ability to connect two uh, client or two servers together. That means that uh, all uh, that is transmitted to a server will be also sent to the other server. And the clients that are connected to a certain server can communicate, uh, namely exchange chat, can also send codes and can share the presence with other clients. So to do that, what we need to do is we go here under connect and sorry, under uh, mission. And here we need to add the other server that we want to uh, connect. So this other server need to have federation servers active. Normally when you install a FreeTag server, the federation is not active. So ensure that before you add a new federation as a client, that the other side, that is the server, has the federation server active. And you see here, the federation server services is not active, so we will need to switch to the other server and activate that. So we have switched to the other service or server. So that is our pub server. You can see that we have a lot of users from all over the places connected. And what we will do is we will create a federation between this server that is called pub and or other server that is called test. So we will use this to be the federation server and test to be the federation client. To activate the federation server, we go under configure in FTS and we activate the federation and we click on apply. Now the service is active. And that is all we need to do on the side of the Federation server. We are now on the Federation client. We see here we have only three clients that are connected. So we go under mission and we press here add. And here we need to set up a couple of things. So the name will be pub like the name of our server. Then we need the IP. So the IP of our pub server is 24.48.30.216. You can use this IP to test your installation or you can test your federation in next days. We will leave the federation service open. And the port is 9000. Now full box server is just in case this is not uh, responding, you can have a different server and we are not going to set this up. The servers need to be enabled and we will have 30 or 10 retrieve. That is if this server is not uh, you know, responding and the interval of retrying will be 30 seconds. Okay, now we submit the federation and we should be already connected. So let's see if that works.
So on this web map, we are showing the Federation client. And on this web map, we are showing the Federation server. So let's see what happened here. And we can also see, so that those are all clients that are, you know, showing up on pub. And I have here a iPhone and this iPhone is connected with all the server. So what we expect is this iPhone is called iPhone client is to see very soon a iPhone client showing up here in Nova Scotia. And we have also this other client that is this Android. So the Android currently is connected also with test, but is showing also on pub. And the reason why it's showing on pub is because we are connected to Federation. So and then I think the because we are in the same location, probably the other client is underneath. So let's try to switch to uh, Wintac. So that is all Wintac. And here we should have, and Wintac is currently connected with uh, uh, or pub server here and you see here we can see the Helio client one and the beacon and those are the two clients that I just showed. Okay so far so good federation works so that is the first part of our demo. So we want now to create a new user and we want to create the certification for the user and then we want also to distribute those certification to the right people. So that is a function that already exists in uh, um, our server since a while. But now we have uh, some addition to that. So we are going to create a new uh, user. We call it foo123123 one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now, if you ask yourself, okay, what is that good for? The group right now is not very relevant. It's going to be relevant in FreeTag Server 2.0. The token is important if you want to use this user for the REST API. And finally, the password is important if you want to log in on the server. So, but right now, what is really important is those two items. This was already existing. If it's false, we'll not create certification for user foo. So we want that to be true. And that is new. And we have two entries here. One is Wintag and the other one is mobile. Now, if you select mobile, you are going to generate a certification that is good for ATAC and ITAC, namely the Android and the iOS version of the mobile client. If you want to generate a certification for a desktop, then you should go for WinTAC. So we are going to create one for the mobile. So I press submit here. So the user is going to be added and is here. Now that is a already existing uh, functionality. So if you have a user that is called foo and this user is currently connected with the server, this user will get automatically the certification of push on the device. That works for Wintac and that works also for ATAC. That is not working with the iOS client, basically because the iOS client is not happy with this function. But as a workaround that is more Apple style, what we can do now is when we go under mission where we have the data packages, we have a new functionality here called QR code. So what we do is we select the certification we want to share and we press here the QR code. And what will happen is that a new QR code will appear. And here we are, this is our QR code. Now, what we need to do 
is to take our iPhone and open the camera with the iPhone and when you open the camera with the iPhone not don't do not use the iTac QR code scanner that is not going to work you know you need to use the camera of the iPhone so and when you put the your iPhone against the screen will ask to open in Safari uh, this files and that means that you're going to download automatically a certain file and this file is going to be located it's called tool.zip and it's going to be located on your download in iTac now on iTac you can go and open the configuration in the configuration you go under network and here servers and you can add a new server and you will select upload server package so and in upload server package you are going to select a file called tool.zip so as you can see I have several that we use it for testing and as soon you select the package you are going to be connected with the client so this is all you need to do to um, use your iTac phone with iOS okay this concludes this short video um, as explained we, we went to federation generation of a QR code you can use this QR code for everything not only for downloading or certification for iTac you can use it for any data package and we also support uh, now iOS and iTac um, we are also working on additional updates that will come out uh, very shortly in regard to the zero touch installer that will allow you to install on any operating system and we are still working on that as soon as ready i will update you so for today is everything please subscribe if you really need if you don't have a very good day